What's up everybody, this is Boy Fishank and today I'm bringing you a video where it's going to be a little cat video on claggy clownfish and uh, I know you guys love these guys and the videos that I've made on these guys you guys have been loving them and uh, you know they're, they're one of my favorite fish in my system and uh, I really like claggy clownfish um, um, and I actually like them better than most other clownfish so let's talk a little bit about these guys um, I think you have to notice about claggy clownfish is that they do get pretty big but you can actually get them in pretty small sizes like I have right here and uh, it will take um, close to one and a half year to get them to um, a little bit more of an adult size not fully adult but um, it will it will take some time and they actually do get kinda old um, I think that you can re uh, you actually can identify claggy clownfish there are many many different subspecies of claggy clownfish but generally the most common one is um, the one that starts um, having um, no black um, area right here in his body. It will actually be all orange with stripes like that. Um, and uh, you know that's, that's, um, that's how it will look for about a couple of months. And then it will begin to get the black coloration right here which looks absolutely amazing. Um, it will really highlight their white stripes which looks really good. And they'll get a, an orange face, some orange fins an orange belly and it looks really really good um, they're very very active, I actually find them more active than um, other clownfish like Ocelaris clownfish fish. I don't really think that they're very interesting compared to these guys, these guys move in a pretty cool way and they swim around all the time and you know things like that and uh, a thing that Claggy clownfish probably is very known for is that they accept almost all anemones and corals as a host so you know, for example, um, like if you give them a seabed anemone or a bubble tip anemone or a calvert anemone or a sand anemone, pretty much any anemone, it will jump right into it. Like it's it's crazy, and uh, they also jump into corals. Actually, the one that I'm filming right here, which is my female, she actually enjoys my Duncan coral down here. Um, she keeps going down there and rubs her around and that and stuff like that. It looks really funny. And you guys saw the feeding video and stuff like that. If you haven't checked that out, you can go check it out. It will be in the, the, the uh, description. Um, and uh, then my male is right here. And what you will notice, um, like with other clownfish too, is that the male will be the smaller one and the female will be the bigger one. Um, you can actually keep these guys in pretty big groups, but it takes some time before they actually like decide the hierarchy and... Um, you know, all clownfish can t change their sex apart from how hard, um, oh, well, it, it depends basically on how high they are in the hierarchy and um, stuff like that. And the female will get bigger than the male. Um, and this is my female, she's the biggest one. And um, she's absolutely beautiful, she's awesome. My male is too, but they're actually fighting quite a lot right now. Um, I think it's because my, my, my male actually doesn't have any sea anemone because my sea bay for some reason just crawl into my cave um, and if it's gonna, going to die, you know, male sea bays don't live more than about a half year or a year um, they don't really live that long and I've soon had it for a little bit over a half year now and if it's like melts away or anything like that, you know, I'm just going to get a new sea bay um, for these guys, that's no problem um, but you know it seems to be doing fine for now though, but um, he can't really get into the sea anemone and wrap himself around there so he has to just swim out in the open and he'll get into the female's territory which is all at the Duncan coral and she'll get a little bit mad about that so you know that's just how it is but um, I, I, I really think that um, claggy clownfish are a lot more prettier and a lot more active than other clownfish and that's why I really just think they're an awesome species. Um, they are pretty aggressive though. They're actually a lot more aggressive than many other clownfish species. Um, like for example, the tomato clown is also pretty aggressive. They are actually like almost the same species. Um, they don't really have the same markings and coloration, but they have the same body form. Because if you look at Pacula clownfish, false Pacula clownfish, Ocellaris clownfish, um, those types of clownfish or the RA snowflakes, you know, they're all, um, they don't look the same as these clownfish do. These guys are a lot more um, fat. They're like a little bit more fat and a little bit more like um, solid in their build. 
whereas um, uh, as a lot of clownfish is more thin um, and they don't really have the big flowy fins like um, like these guys have and you know that's that's really a thing that um, that I think is a lot more interesting about these guys they have so big fins and it looks really really beautiful and uh, they're they're actually really great to mix with your duddy bag because my chromas have had some problems with uh, my duddy bag as you can see I have my two chromas up here and then I have a quarantine one that is in the back right here you can see him right down there in the corner I don't think you can see him but he's right down there yeah see him right there and he's in quarantine right now because his, his fence was completely nipped off by the duddy bag and you know it, it's basically because chromis doesn't really fit into my system because the rest of my fish is sort of semi-aggressive um, the clownfish you know they're pretty aggressive the, the duddy bag is super aggressive um, the duddy, uh, oh, well the goby does kind of keep him for himself um, I just fed him with some shrimp today he's just hiding down there in the cave as usual he's just chilling I love that fish he's just awesome like really the most amazing fish in my system. Anyway, um, like the 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 clownfish. Let's get back to those guys. So, really, what to feed these guys? Um, they eat the same as all other uh, clownfish does. Like cyclobes is a really good food to feed them. Um, they gain great coloration. Um, there's also um, a lot of pellets that I feed them. Like you can actually get um, some fauna marine foods that are specially made for clownfish. Um, that is a little bit more soft and they will actually eat that um, however bigger pellets and um, now if they host a sea bay um, anemone for example or any other anemone um, you know they, they will basically um, feed them if, if, if they can't swallow the food entirely um, they'll basically feed it to their anemone and that's the thing that Cluggy Clownfish is also very known for they'll always feed their anemone and it's awesome it's really funny and I made a video on how you actually can make your cloggy clownfish do that and what you can feed them with and things like that uh, but bigger pellets like um, like if you get some Omega 1 uh, pellets they're a little bit more big and um, solid and you can basically f uh, feed them that and they'll just put it down in the anemone and that's kind of funny um, but you know they, they, they generally um, you know they generally just eat some small pellets like small pellets like some fauna marine pellets is just a great choice and um, I, I would recommend fauna marine foods for all of you guys down there it's literally like literally is the best food that you can get for your saltwater aquarium I swear it's the best one you can get you can't get any better branded foods I mean it's it's serious it's crazy um, the, the ingredients that they use in there is just amazing and it really just shows how great this food is that I can just feed it to all my corals, I can feed it to all my fish and they do have a lot of different formulas and recipes and things like that on on the foods and you can get some clownfish ones um, actually I, I have Omega, uh, not Omega sorry Fauna Marine um, Base Color L um, which is a very very good pellet, there's also a claggy clownfish out uh, on the front I actually think there's a reason for that because my claggy clownfish loves those pellets like crazy um, but you know uh, these guys are pretty easy to take care of, um, take care of, but you really need to take into consideration that they're kind of semi-aggressive and they will defend their territory. So you do have to uh, mix them with other semi-aggressive fish, or they might actually bully some other fish like crazy, um, which is not a good thing. Like my, they don't chase my duddy bag for a reason, and that's because the duddy bag, um, I mean, the duddy bag just like kills anybody that actually threatens him and that's um that's the thing about dirty bags um so they don't chase him they they don't they just don't want to mess with him basically um but but you know they they kind of mess with my chromis sometimes like uh, chase them a little bit away from their territory um but that's not that's really the only thing that they do they're not that um they're they're a little bit aggressive um on um the, the top swimmers or the middle swimmers of your tank uh, but they actually haven't bothered my goby yet. Um, they have never touched my goby. That's kind of weird. Um, but my duddy bag has. But these guys have not even like chased him any bit. So they haven't stole any food from him really either. So that's really nice. But you know they they are they are kind of cool fish and they have a very funny personality and they're just awesome and they love humans. Seriously, they really love humans. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the video that I got for you guys. So. These guys are easy to take care of and yeah, see you guys in another video.